Hi, and welcome to Studio SN. My name is Sarah Newman, and today we're making embellishments with shimmer sheets. Shimmer sheets are lightweight sheets of iridescent mylar from Elizabeth Craft Design. They're high shine, high reflection. I think you can see as I'm moving this piece of shimmer sheets here, how that beautiful high shine and that gorgeous iridescent effect on here. Well, they're really pretty sturdy. You can even use them for outdoor garden decorations if you want to, but they're also really flexible and easy to cut and easy to die cut with a machine. And I love using them for die cutting because it's a great way to create easy embellishments that add a lot of style to your cards. As I'm lifting up the die cut overlay on this flower, I think you can see that yellow iris shimmer sheet underneath. That flower has been die cut, as has this smaller one over here. And the cutting dies that I'm using today are also from Elizabeth Craft Design. So I'm going to show you the process for doing this and you'll see how quick and easy it is to create really pretty embellishments using shimmer sheets. So first I'm going to start, of course, with my sheet of shimmer sheets. They come like this. They're 5 inches by 12 inches and I maximize every last little scrap of my shimmer sheets. So I'm going to use this little stray bit that I happen to have and I'm going to be die cutting from this piece. Now the two cutting dies I'm using also from Elizabeth Crafts, I'm using the Crystal Flower set number one, that's going to be my base, and then the Crystal Flower overlay set number two, and this I will be cutting uh, with paper instead of the shimmer sheets. So shimmer sheets for the base and paper for the overlay. So let me bring in the cutting die here, and this is the Crystal Flower, really versatile design. You've got the two flowers and then the two flower centers on there. Now they are hinged together and what you can do if you want them cut apart is just to use some wire cutters and snip that apart. Since I usually use the flowers together though, I just die cut them all as one piece. So I'm using this last scrap and I'm going to position this to make sure that I've maximized all of the available space here because you can also use this leftover bit. You can do um, punching from that as well. Now I've got an old school cuddle bug machine and depending on what kind of machine you have, you're going to have a different sort of process to your sandwich. But let me just explain to you how I've put this together. So I'm starting with my spacer, which is A, then I'm going to layer the B plate on top. I'm going to have my cutting die with the cutting ridges up and then position my shimmer sheets on top. I like to use the metal adapter plate from Elizabeth Craft. Yours will not be curved like mine is. Mine is curved because I forced it through my machine, which I should not have done, with an embossing folder. It still works, it's just curved. So then what I'll do, position this together, put the C plate on top, and then run the whole thing through my cuddle bug embossing machine or die cutting machine. So you may have a slightly different process, but at the end of the die cutting, you're going to have two flowers that look like this. So look how pretty that shiny design is. So you could die cut them from different colors and stack and layer them if you wanted to. I decided to do both from the yellow iridescent. Then what I'm gonna do is die cut two flowers using the overlay. Again, I'm using paper for this. So I've got one large white flower and then I've got one smaller black flower. Now, as you can see on here, that beautiful filigree, all of that detail, all you need to do is just pop out those little innies and they come out really easily. You don't need a special tool for them at all. In just a few seconds um, to pop those out, they come out very, very easily. And then of course you can stack and layer them on top of your shimmer sheets design. So let me bring back in my original card and show you what I've done to put this together. So I wanted to have a bit of lift to my dimensional flowers and not have them glued down flat so instead of using like a stick it or another adhesive, I just decided to put the adhesive in the center and cover that up with a button because then you can lift up the flower petals and you really can see more of that shimmer sheets design underneath. Now for the background here, I want to show this to you as well. And this is just a piece of white glossy cardstock. I brayered it with acrylic paint and I'm using the Paper Artsy Fresco Finish Chalk Acrylics. This is in Mermaid, which is my current favorite of the fresco finish colors. So I just brayered that right onto that glossy white cardstock. And once it was dry, which didn't take very long at all, then I came in with some stamping. Using the Paper Artsy Eclectica series, this is ESN 14, and I use this um, really fun word stamp. These are flower words. 
and I found in a Dutch uh, book on gardening. So I used this for a border and then some script down here as well and the word bloom. And I stamped those um, all with jet black archival ink. So stamping directly onto the background paper as well as the bloom is stamped onto white cardstock. Just hanging down here with a little bit of foam tape. Mounted up onto red and black and then onto a craft piece of um, cardstock as the card blank and a little bit of ribbon here in the center and then I think those red buttons just add a little bit more dimension to the card as well. So this is how easy it is to use shimmer sheets from Elizabeth Craft Designs for very easy and fun card accents. I hope you enjoyed today's show. For more ideas and inspiration, please stop by my website at sarahnewman.com. If you enjoyed today's video, I invite you to subscribe to Studio SN on YouTube and I'll keep you updated with a new video every Wednesday. Thank you for joining me on Studio SN and I'll see you again next time.